All right, so what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, codename Agent. Who? Oh, it's Danger, God damn it. And for this one, man, I wanted to give you guys a first look at uh, whew, the APK. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the test build. And keep in mind, anything you see here is subject to change when the update goes live, presumably next Tuesday, rolling into Wednesday, okay? Update 5.9 is actually looking like it's going to be lit, but it's not going to come in without a bit of controversy because it wouldn't be a mutant update without it, okay? Always has mixed reaction by the player base, love and hate. The two go hand in hand. So let's talk about it, man. Front and center. You know what I'm saying? We got Professor X coming in at tier three. We got the lovely Mystique looking as stop worthy as ever. And then we got my main man, Nathan Essex. The most sinister one. You know what I'm saying? Out here looking like an Egyptian god. It's all good, though. All right. So first and foremost, let's take a look at Professor X. We're going to talk about character acquisition and what these characters are going to bring to the table. So first and foremost, we got Professor X, right? He's the leader of the X-Men. You would think he would have the best leadership we've ever seen on any mutant, right? Check this out. The man is coming in with 20% all attack and 50% mild resistance. I I'm sorry, what? Okay, first and foremost, okay, I understand. You know and I'm saying he has the most powerful mind, all right? So he's supposed to be like impervious. To like mental attacks but bro 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 for real 20 percent all attack how does cyclops have a better leadership than professor x when professor x trained cyclops how does kitty pride have a better leadership than professor x how and i'm saying magneto has a better leadership than professor x i'm sorry what like, even if they weren't going to give him all attack, bro, they could have at least made it so that it was mind-like damage that he was buffing to an insane degree. Partner, how you mean Kid Omega going to have a better leadership offensively than Professor X? That made no sense to me, fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to start off by, like, you know what I'm saying, bringing negative stuff. But I got to, I just, for me, right, I got to say how I feel 100% of the time. All right. If that's not why you're here, I'm sorry, right? But I, I feel some type of way about this. I feel like they're disrespecting the man. Like, you know what I'm saying? 20% all attack is blasphemy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, we got Mental Master, right? 90% chance to become immune to mind damage. Where it should be 99%. It should be 100%. You know what I'm saying? Because there's not really that many characters that you're using in PvP that's using mind damage anyways. And... He's the mind god, basically, right? Whatever. Then we have his fifth skill, mind over matter. As fear, removes active buff from target, should remove all buff or whatever. We have mind control for one second. We have damage. <laughs> let, 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 me, let me max this out. Let me max this out. Because, yeah, nah, bro, that looks hella sus. Okay. So the mind control is then one second. Hopefully that's like a refreshing debuff, right? Because, yeah, that, that's mad weak, bro. We need, four, we need five seconds on, on the boss, man. All right? He has a heal. That's that's good. All right? We have mind resistance down. Ignores immunity, so it works against war bosses. We have invincibility. We have damage accumulation based on damage dealt. So that's really good. This is a V-pad skill as well, so you can move around when you're attacking. This is very, very good. All right? So for any of you guys who were hoping that we are going to get wheels, we're not getting wheels. Okay? We're getting a leg man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying. I hope you catch the joke, man. But it's all good. Let's 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 max that out. So we got some more ignore immunity stuff on the fourth skill here. So what's this? We got incapacitation. Could be good for PvP, right? Decrease mind blast and mind resistance. Okay. So that ignores immunity for two seconds. We got decreased mind resistance up to forty percent. That's good. All right. Let's, let's just max this out. I should have maxed these all out before. Like, I literally just, like, logged into the game. I just put these three on a team. Figured I'd give you guys my first impression because I stayed up all night basically waiting for the APK. And these guys didn't set it to, like, in the morning. So, it is what it is. We got all attack here. 
right? So maybe that's why they should change them on the leadership. But like real talk, you should have like one of the best leaderships you've ever seen for any mutant, point blank, period. I'm saying Kitty Pride and Cyclops shouldn't even come close to what he has, but whatever, man. Anyways, this is a good, it's a good buff here. And we have some my resistance down again. All right, and then right here we got all speed decreases us, whatever. He looks like he has mind resistance on everything, right? And they all ignore immunity, so that's good. Like, literally every skill, bro. Wow. Literally every skill has mind resistance. That That's sick. That's sick. You gotta put some respect on the prof's name, you know? Cerebro scan, that's the tier three, right? Mind resistance down again. All that. Ooh. You gotta ignore dodge here for 10 seconds. That's lit. Got invincibility there. Got it. Oh, he can penetrate super armor, barrier, shield, all damage immunity. That's good. That's good. Hopefully, it has ignore eye frame on it as well. And let's see what the tier two is. Increased mind damage by 20%. Increased skill damage and bonus damage. Bro, 5% bonus damage? Bro, he better hit like a super truck on super duper creatine. If you know what I mean. Because like 5%, bro? Bro, hold up. Pause. L let me check my baby Betsy. Love you, mommy. Right? Um, bro, even Psylocke. Now, Psylocke only has it for five seconds, but you basically have it all the time when you're attacking because this is the most powerful skill in their kit. But, like, real talk, bro. Real talk? They, they, they only going to give him 20%, bro? That's kind of whack. Also, if you guys want to know how you acquire the character, hold up. Let me get out of there. Yo, what up? Fat fingers, bro. There we go. Look at location, baby. Professor X special training in the danger room. It's the danger zone, baby. So they're coming back with that um, Rachel Summers, nigga Sonic deal. And honestly, this one you can't even complain about. Like, where else would you think he would be attained from? You know what I'm saying? They would say pay money or unlock him in the danger room, which he did. He basically created the danger room. So if he's not in there, it don't make no sense. Right? So yeah he's a crystal character you're gonna have to like shell out some crystals to get the prof my only gripe is future fight team now is a third character that you have to attain from the danger room you need to start bringing back the danger room packages every couple months like put it on a cycle put it on a schedule all right just like you do for like uniform sales or whatever every month every 60 days or whatever bring back a package right so people can pick up these characters. Just saying. Right. Anyways, so that's Professor X. We can take a look at his skills briefly here if you guys want to see them. As you can see, I didn't load anything yet. All right, bro, my, my guy comes in like a G. Hey, <laughs> you don't need the alphabet to see. <laughs> that my whole city depends on me. Okay, let me stop. Wheezy. This, this looks really sick. Like, you can see this, like, bouncing around and shit. That looks so cool. Like, in the stream, I know you guys were, like, hoping for a reaction out of me, but, like, man, I thought I was going to get APK right after the stream, so I was like, man, why would I make a reaction when I can just come in and test myself? And these guys did nothing. But anyway, they were saying that there, there was an X there. I don't know where they were seeing the X. Like, where's the X, bro? Anyways, the X is lost, bro. Cage, y'all be tripping, tripping. This looks sick, bro, the Cerebro. <laughs> You can literally see the cerebral cortex, bro. Like, or maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm seeing things that's not there, but that looks real sick, bro. Bro. Yo. Oh, snap. That's 10 seconds, bro. That looks so sick. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Oh yeah, this is the one that you can move around. I wonder if we're ever gonna get like Charles in a wheelchair in the game, bro. Or is it too far gone at this point? This just looks so freaking epic. And that grin on his face, he just looks he looks truly sinister. Oh snap, say word! Yo! Yo! What? I wonder if you still get all the buffs, bro. That's lit. So you can literally as soon as you go through. The animation you can just cancel yo he's gonna be perfect for rage bro oh my gosh i'm not trying to like sell you guys on rage already but like i feel like he'll be good for energy too because he has so many hits look at look at all these hits bro like 
I think he's just gonna be perfect for any kind of build, frankly. But like, I wanna see how soon he can cancel. Nope, don't do that, boys, unless you have the SFX off, <laughs> right? But whatever. Yeah, as soon as you get that um, Cerebro scan off, it looks like you can just walk away and start using something else and you'll keep going, so that's cool. I don't wanna keep you guys here for like a long ass time testing stuff. Also, there's a faction battle that's gonna come possibly with the update. Right? I logged in, I seen one, right? So yeah, keep in mind though, yeah, those things generally don't give out the greatest of rewards. It's probably gonna be Colossus Bios again, but hopefully this time it's for one of these characters. Anyways, right away, location. Why do I keep clicking that, bro? Fat fingers, hashtag fat fingers. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna have to have a fat wallet for this one though, right? My man, Nathan Essex, Mr. Sinister, the sinister one, right? He is going to be truly sinister by costing you a few dollars, you feel me? So yes, he's the paywall, the hard paywall in this update. You gotta bring cash to the table if you want a boss man, okay? So let's take a look at him, see what he's bringing to the table for your, what, 15 bucks for me, 10 bucks for you if you're in the States, All right? So we got my resistance decreased by 50. Yo, okay, I was gonna be mad, bro. I was actually gonna be mad because when I looked at this, I was like, yo, 50% my resistance, right? <laughs> and then I seen 35% all attack. I was like, how the, f I was gonna say, how the hell, right? Let, let me stop and not cuss, it's YouTube, right? Let me not cuss. I was gonna say, how the hell Nathan has a better, like overall leadership than Professor X. And I seen that he's only buffing himself. He has that Deadpool Taskmaster deal where he offers a little bit of help to the team, but then he's like, listen, it's all about me, baby, I'm the big dog. Y'all just sit in the back and watch the man work. You feel me? <laughs> Anyways, man, it's a good leadership. It's a good look. I like it, All right? And then we got, check that out. When his HP is below 50%, he recovers 100% of his max HP for one second. So, yeah. That's good. It's interesting. It's 140 seconds, though. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good heal. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Woo, woo, defense down, boys. And this is one of them ones that have a big, big, big boy startup. So like 35% per hit stacks up to 55, eight seconds, and it's a 15 second cooldown. I didn't look at the professor's cooldown times, actually. Let me see. Um, this is, whoo, I just booked that, boy. This is 20 seconds. Golly, that's gonna be a problem for your proc. Whoo, that's nine seconds too. Okay, that's 15, that's eight. Ouch. These are gonna be a problem if you wanna use them in PvP. Them long ass cooldown times, that's gonna be a problem for um, trying to proc properly with a CTP of energy or destruction. Looking like what I said earlier about the whole rage thing might actually be very much so true. Rage might be optimal for this guy. Anyways, let's take a look at Nathan. So. We got 15 seconds here, which means 7.5 seconds with 50% um, cooldown. Perfect for a regular damage proc. We got 16 seconds here, we got invincibility. And when you're using manual control, your character will like continuously attack, kind of like the cable deal, right? You can see why he's the one that created cable. He gifted cable with that. <laughs> I'm just playing, but hey, it is what it is. It's nice to see Nathan in the game, man. Check this out. Whew. Okay, all attack plus 70% for each surviving summon character, up to three characters for seven seconds. Increases recovery amount by 50%. Per Ooh, this is something new. Wow. Wow. This is lit. And this is mind damage. I just realized he's mixed, bro. Mind damage, energy damage. Okay, so you can build them with a regular like obelisk with mind damage kind of like psylocke and stuff or you could give him like hold up this is nice or you can give him like a ctp or whatever but copies the target Whew. wow summons an illusion if copy oh okay i was gonna say like the first thing i was gonna say is can he copy world bosses but then they put this in here summons a basic illusion if copy 
the target is not possible, right? So, yeah, it means there's going to be some things that's beyond his limit. And I assume it's going to be the same thing for Mystique. I will take a look at her in a second, right? You know, illusions. I hope these illusions don't pull aggro, right? Because, yeah, that's usually a problem. Nightcrawler syndrome, right? Anyways, tier 2 passive is okay. As to be expected from a summon type user, right? I hope they don't interfere with this gameplay too, too much. All right. He comes in like a boss. Yo, flex. That's a big flex, bro. That's a big flex. What you mean, bro? That's a big flex. Nathan with a big flex. Jeez. Oh, you can't move. Just like Cable, you can't move. Damn, he really is just like Cable. Like Cable is just like him, because technically this is Cable's real daddy. <laughs> Shut up. Ooh, that's the X gene, baby. That's cool. That's cool. That's real cool. Nice. That's lit. Mm. I'm really going to have to see how he plays out in like real action because my concern is the summons are going to interfere with um his iframes and stuff and cause some damage and survivability but overall first impressions he's looking like he's going to be good right but how good for your dollar just wait and see let me let me test them out a little bit on the apk and on the live server before you guys shell out any money i'm definitely gonna make a tier to him day one so yeah that's my, that's my man, that's my guy. And then we got Tatiana right here. You know what I'm saying? She coming in. Woo! Anyways, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Right? She's getting her awakened skill and Kurt's in there too. Mm, interesting. So you're probably going to have to build up Kurt. Is there any way for us to see what the requirements are? Probably going to have to wait for the patch notes. Assuming, right, that since Kurt's in the picture and in the skill, if we're going by what we know from um, the Sinister Six, skill that dr octavius got expect to have to buy magneto and get kurt to at least like level 60 right that means they're expecting you to build two soft paywall characters one for crystals and one from the lab ladies and gentlemen this is not a free to play friendly update like in terms of like getting everything without doing nothing all right you're gonna have to save some crystals because again fat fingers hashtag fat fingers <laughs> okay look at this you can only get her in the shop and essentially she is just like emma frost okay she's a crystal lock character yes ladies and gentlemen and i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i mean if you go into um right here and you go produce you can't produce nothing bro mystique ain't here okay you can see that Kid Omega, he's in here. Bishop is in here. Nightcrawler is in here, right? All the ones that you can get kind of for free, kind of from the uh, the X-Gene selector, right? Yeah, they're there. The premium ones, they're not there. Also, let me show you guys something real quick. So daily perks, we have the X-Gene selector right here. And you can see Mystique ain't in here, okay? Mystique and Professor X, they're not in here. So Professor X, Danger Zone, right? Mystique, Crystal Zone. You feel me? And uh, Sinister, you gotta have the, you have to have the bag, boys. You know what I'm saying? Wheezy. Anyways, <laughs> Mystique, ladies and gentlemen, six percent all speed for your team, forty five percent all attack for herself. Tatiana only ended for herself. Okay, love Mystique, but <laughs> it is what it is. Anyways, we got the transformation and. I'm sorry, but y'all should have gave her like at least 45% guaranteed dodge. You know what I'm saying? For transformation, I'm sorry, bro. That's kind of lame. I hope she has the weapon master tag. Real talk. Okay, so you can use her with Taskmaster. Let's see if um Professor X has anything cosmic. Nothing. Okay, he has leadership though. That's good. That's good. That's something I don't think Magneto, well, in the previous like update, these guys didn't have it. I still doesn't have it. Now at least not find this uniform. Yeah, so at least you can use Professor X with um White Fox and stuff. Where's Magneto? I'll leave the uniforms for a different video because this thing is already gonna get out of hand. 
All right, so Professor X has leadership, kind of like, um, I think it's Angel, Colossus, and somebody else that has it. Maybe Warpath? It's been a while since I've checked. But a couple mutants have it, not that many, right? Nice that Professor X, Professor actually has it. All right, let's take a look at uh, Mystique, though. Get the kind of side check it. Bust it down, Tatiana. Anyways, all right, <laughs> we got defense down up to 60%, but it starts off at 6%. Uh, okay. And this is the uh, the familiar slash. This is the one that has Psylocke in there. Baylock. You know what it is. Then we got Invincibility and an All Attack buff here, which is cool. It's interesting that they leveled up her skills, but not Professor X's. Uh, okay, whoever was on this account, they definitely have a, uh, a little little thing for Mystique, right? Perfect copy. And this is actually really, really cool from what I've seen in the live. I think this is the one that has the Logan transformation. Actually, that's the, um, is that the Awakened skill? We're going to have to check. Anyways, this one has super armor on it, defense down again, applies in world boss, and an attack buff, this is dope. And we have mimicry, we have damage accumulation based on damage dealt, and appearance copy, but it doesn't say anything. You know how like for Sinister you can't clone them and it specifically says some people can't be copied? Mm, we don't see that here from Mystique, All right? And we have confusion, which is a new effect, but it doesn't say ignore immunity, so it may not work on world bosses if that's the case that's hella lame i'm sorry hella lame if mystique's um transformation thing doesn't work on world bosses just saying that's shadowland shadowland and perfect deception oh oh wow wow i'm sorry what all allies Increased damage dealt to superhero 45%. Increased damage dealt to super villain. But so you guys can make you guys can make a support character for villains. So what was the excuse for Baron Mordo? Okay, I'm not trying to go back there, but like for real though, this is lit. This is lit. So you now have somebody that can help you push really high stages against mutant bosses. Right? Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, Cable. The answer to that is this. Bust it down, Tatiana. <laughs> Anyways, Mutant Assassin. That's a sick, sick name. And it looks really cool. Right? And then we have defense down here that ignores immunity. Like, yo, Mystique is coming in with the first of a lot, bro. Because the other characters that got awakened skills, their defense down didn't ignore immunity on their awakened skills. Right, man, Mystique, yo, Mystique is gonna be sick. Day one, Mega Tier Two, <laughs> yo. Real talk. Now that I think about it, I can kind of see why they're not giving away a lot of any free character this up there because they gave away a Mega Tier Two, which means they gave you a way to kind of um get these characters, one of these characters at least, to Tier Two completely for free. Right, you could pick up Mystique from the shop for crystals, a little bit of crystals to just initially unlock her, 2,500, all right? And then you can use the Mega Tier 2, right, to then get her to Tier 2. So you can at least get Mystique for free that way. And I'm probably show you guys in a future video. But that's something for you to think about. Don't lose your mind yet. And keep in mind, everything you see here is subject to change, okay? Let's take a look at the Awakened skill first, though. Yo, they should have put Mags in the white suit. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the one that has Magneto dropping a big ass freaking metal ball on top of people. That's cool. This is actually really cool to help you get out some type spots. This has no. Ooh, hold up. I was gonna say it has no iframe, but he has an iframe at the end. Not the safest skill for a world boss, but it could work if the confusion actually works on them. And this is one that only works when there's a target. That's so sick, man. Jeez. Bro, this better freaking work in World Boss. You know how awesome that would be, man. And we got Angel in here along with Logan. Cheat, yo, Mystique, baby. I'm sorry. I know I call you Tatiana, but I still love you, man. <laughs> I know they say you should love the whole, but I. <laughs> Let me stop, man. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. 
All right, so that, that was the one that transformed into Maylock. Yo, real talk, Mystique is such an amazing looking character. Like, she's gonna be super fun to play with. And I definitely see her utility. Because of her tier two Basil, yeah, she's definitely gonna be really, really good and possibly one that you need to have. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. It's not looking like it's gonna be the most free to play friendly update ever, but don't lose your mind yet. They may actually give out some free bios for pretty much all of these characters. So just keep that in mind, but don't hold your breath. It's a mutant update and it generally doesn't come without controversy, okay? So till next time, stay safe. I love you guys and I will catch you in the next one. Next one, we're gonna take a look at the uniforms. This one's been over 20 minutes already. I know you guys don't like these long videos, so I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.